I think the big question of the day is, can you take me to see MF Doom? Yeah. Technically, MF Doom has to see you. I'm looking for MF Doom, though. You have to go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. MF Doom. Rest in peace. New Jack. New Jack. Rest in peace. DMX. Rest in peace. Betty White. I mean, she's not dead yet, but I mean, it's, it's, it's coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> uh, uh, rest in hell. Don McLean. For whenever you go, <laughs> making the world's worst song. <laughs> Damn. I'll never forgive him. <laughs> I'll never forgive you for this. <laughs> we're never gonna find. We're never gonna recover from this. No, we are not. <laughs> uh, we're never gonna musically recover from this. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and knock it out in the first few minutes here, boys. Uh, two people you thought would probably never get the vaccination, both got our first shots. When this comes out, like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so. We'll, and then when this comes out, one more week, and we'll, we'll be getting our second one. So. <laughs> have to wait four weeks. So. Damn. He scheduled mine June 15th. Shit. So, yeah. So, like, three days after you get yours. Right, shit. It's all on a Tuesday, though, so that's good. Yeah, so, so yeah, she, she made sure it was on Saturday. And I was like, yeah, she keeps the same time. Yeah, he, the guy I, I was working with, I was dealing with, he said it as if I, I, I had asked him, which was on a Tuesday. Right. Because he was scheduling me, and he was like, all right, it's going to be on June 15th. And he's like, Tuesday, of course. No, I was yeah, like, that's cool. I was like, I didn't ask if it was going on Tuesday. That's what she said. She, she, was, she was like, yes, yeah, that's off on Saturday. She's like, you want to keep the same time? I was like, yeah, it's fine. It was yeah, 11, yeah. 11 40 because I, uh, I used to stay late on Fridays, and which was a good call because I didn't get until 10 30 last Saturday. So like, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, yeah. I'm glad I made it 11 40. He asked me if I wanted to keep my same time or if I want a later time. I went, no, 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 7 20 is good. But perfect. Right <laughs> to get I, off. I, I, I'm getting off right at 7. All right. I can just walk around the store for a few minutes and come up here. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I forgot you worked here. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, I work overnight still. Unfortunately. <laughs> Up until July, I may actually just dip. Yeah, see ya. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how life goes. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get my, my boy Nog back on. Yeah, hey, right. I thought I was going to leave my job, but then, you know, I'm now, now, I'm, moving, now I'm switching jobs. So. Hell yeah. In, 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 the, in the company. Are they going to let you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Get a little, get a little pay bump. Hell nice. yeah. I got to clean the keyboard off. Right. It's, it's, it's from where, like, when I, when I lived in Papadale, I always had my, my beverage here. And you know how so the sparkles at the top? Yeah. Yeah, that's all that's all that's on it. Damn. Because it's just that. Because I don't, I don't jerk off laptop-wise. Right, same, man. So I, I jerk off mobile. I've always found that weird. You know, people who just fucking sit at a computer, I'm like, ha uh, I did. Oh, well, that's all I had because I had a Blackberry. It was kind of hard to look up porn on that. Yeah, I agree. So I had to use the computer. Yeah. Just like, whoa. I remember I had one of the flip phones I could use it in that, but it was really hard. You, yeah. like, you, even pictures were rough. You're like, oh. Yeah, I jerked off to a lot of weird pic, weird, yeah. weird pics on uh, Google. What was your favorite, like, non pornographic place to go get pictures and shit? I just use Google Images. That's smart. Google um, Images was a lot looser back in the day. Yeah, it was. Like, you, you get smart search, but you turn that off, you're good. But, like, oh, yeah. you, you, even with smart search on, it, you got away with a lot. You're like, oh, damn. Yeah, the titties. Huh? It's true. We've <laughs> looked up Thanksgiving porn on images before. <laughs> Wasn't that with John? Oh, why, why did you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> so, know, two weeks earlier, we looked up clown porn. <laughs> yeah, then we looked up uh, puppet porn afterwards. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you're you welcome. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, fuckers. Oh, and I, I guess, I, I bet you guys are sitting there like, oh man, he's not wearing a Roosevelt shirt. Today, that's where you're fucking wrong, boys. Because uh, this, you can't really zoom in. Yeah. But right here, Roosevelt logo. They make t-shirts, and I will say this is the most comfortable t-shirt I've ever worn. I have this one and a charcoal gray one. Hell yeah. They're like 19 bucks. It is pretty fucking soft. Yeah. If you want one, there's a coupon code in the bottom because they haven't sponsored me yet. But whenever they do, there will be a coupon. But until then, it's you know. Until then, just look it up for yourself because they look are comfortable. For yourself. Yeah. Comfortable, they're nice, relaxing. Don't wear the uh, nice uh, Kuno Flux in the winter because they are not made for that. No, they are not. When the wind breathes, you will feel it, and your nipples will hate you. Yeah, <laughs> like you, wear, you wear the uh, the twist one, the long sleeves. <laughs> yeah, I wear that a lot in the winter. Uh, hey, business town. Business town. Uh, woo! You can find this. Well done, 
beautiful sex carton at uh on Twitter at Kyle Dean Two. You can find me on Twitter at Dylan K Nail. And you can find us combined forever on Twitter at the Macho Burgers. Actually, if you noticed on last week's episode, you noticed that Tom uh, the Moose now has a name tag. I gave him one, and That's then awesome. the Twitter handle for Tom is actually just the Macho Burgers. <laughs> like on Twitter, it. That's their Twitter Twitter oh, handle. I like it. Yeah, well, Tom the Moose. <laughs> and uh, you can find us on YouTube. And since you're at, well, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Macho Burger Productions. You can find us on YouTube, Macho Burger Productions. And since you're already on YouTube watching us, go ahead and finger tap that subscribe button and go ahead and lightly stroke that bell icon to get notified when we upload the weekly podcast or (laughs) or whenever we decide to give you a tasty little fun video. Like, who knows what's next? Who knows? Yeah, who knows what's next? Album review should be coming back soon. Yeah. I currently, got a, I currently got a stuffy nose because I forgot to take my allergy medicine yesterday. So good, dog. So it made it so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> I should have taken two pills today, but I only took one. Just, just Two pills. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, fuck it. Pay them bills. Got the skills. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, business time. House in the hills. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can f- if you don't want to watch our faces, you can hear our voices. Deep Sea Oil Drew. On Anchor.fm. And because of Anchor.fm, they allow us to be on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Podbay, and Listen Notes. Yeah, apparently podcast had a clip we learned last week. But, uh, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and jump on that airplane. To check out the geographical regions. We're going ra- round the world, around the world, around the, the world, world, around the world. And that's as much as I'm legally allowed to say. It's weird because uh, we haven't uploaded episode 66 yet, so I don't have any <clears throat> information on that one yet. Right. <laughs> Does that also change, though? Uh, no. I didn't think so. Well, yeah, actually. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah, but let me do the geographical regions first. Quap, bitch. I want to give a shout out to the geographical regions of Czech Republic, Czech Republic, <laughs> Serbia, Slovenia. Well, those two are new. Serbia, Slovakia. Slovenia, those two are new. Uh, Japan, Italy, New Zealand, Sweden, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Spain, Russia, Uruguay, Pakistan, Philippines, Romania. Mexico, Portugal, India, Australia, France, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, Ireland, and the United States. Every time you say Uruguay, then you go to Pakistan. I was thinking you're going to say uh, Uruguay, then I think you're going to say Paraguay. <laughs> and you don't know, oh, man. <laughs> uh, every time I say Portugal, I always want to say Portugal the man. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure they hate, hate them just as much as we do. Yeah. Uh, the top five has changed a little bit. Huh? And it's got pretty interesting. Uh, number five is episode 13, Abraham Lincoln's Presidential Park. Yeah, I'm glad it's still there. Yeah. Uh, in fourth place, we got episode six, Rob Deerdick's Spicy Fried Chicken. And uh, number three now is episode one, Macho Burger Gets Spunky About Macro. Ah, that went up. Yeah. And number two is now Miranda Co- is episode 20, Miranda Cosgrove's Questionable Moose Festival. And now sitting at first place is episode 17, LeVar Burton's Scary Star Trek Nightmares. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. And we're still in the same boat with uh, everything else. Uh, <laughs> our main demographic is the 18 to 27 age range. <laughs> Uh, we have a couple people in their 30s listening to us. Not many, but a little bit. <laughs> uh, still, our main goal, our main one is Apple Podcasts. I said that very normal. That's an Apple Podcast. Apple Podcasts. Uh, for the record, I'm not drinking an alcoholic beverage. Uh, I'm drinking apple juice. And also, you can actually see what drink I'm drinking this week. 
the last week it was just whatever Triple H's suit jacket was. So that's fun. Uh, Triple H couldn't be back this week uh, for a cease and desist letter. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's something about right there. Be fair. <laughs> that sounds realistic, even though it's not what happened. Yeah. But we do have the lovely uh, MF Dome. MF Dome. So there's that. There is that. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there anything else in business now? Oh, yeah. I got new. This doesn't really matter in business. I can say this any time. <laughs> but I got new glasses. Uh, shout out to T Pain. For making me want to get these clear Oakley frames. Fucking nice, dude. You know I don't know if they're going to be green or not. Hold on, really? They might. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. No, you can't really tell. That angle. No, they may be there, and if they're not, well, then I'll have MF Doom's face on my face. So. That's a <laughs> <laughs> So who knows what's going to happen? Right. Only I'll know when I edit it. So. Right. <laughs> I mean, not me, but uh, Michelangelo Hardwick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Editor... Editor in chief. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, doing everything we asked last week. Appreciate it. Even though it took you a while with the audio syncing. Yeah, yeah. But we appreciate I, it. <laughs> I totally took the thing. Hey, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope it doesn't do the same thing again because I was a I got a lengthy email from our editor about that. What the fuck, bro? Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, hey, well, the camera broke and uh, we had to get a new one. I didn't know it was going to cause an issue. All right. <laughs> I mean, you just, you're just doing this for free. Right, what the fuck do you want from me? Because <laughs> uh, we don't have funds to pay people. It's true, we don't. <laughs> to ask Mikey. If anyone deserves to be paid, it's Mikey. Agreed. Uh, Alright, I don't move up. Okay, I figured it out. Well, I've been asking that question of God for years. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, so should we, oh yeah, we still have guess what, boys and girls and not binary, not specified. Who knows? No matter uh, what you are, we, we have, have a star, star for, for you. <laughs> and guess what? We still have it. We also still have the Mecca star that I forgot to say last week. The we, Mecca Jesus Christ. We still have the Mecca <laughs> star. That's pretty good. Too. That was actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it with these because I don't want to clean them up again. <laughs> you didn't. I cleaned up some of them. Grab like four. I grabbed, <laughs> what, I grabbed what made it around this area. Yeah, that's about it. Let me make Chimbus clean it up. Okay. We'll make, we'll make Chimbus do it. What? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to. Yeah, I still don't want you to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to pin him up across the. the no, not. I don't want to put him up across the green screen. Yeah, that'd be screen. dumb, man. Yeah, what would have been the point of the green screen? Right. Uh. Oh, yeah. You wanted to make the star in green? <laughs> and it wouldn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could probably buy some green print and spray paint. <laughs> if you really want me to. Oh, you. Yeah. At first, I thought you meant paint, paint the wall. I was like, oh. No, I meant the space. Yeah, I was like, oh, duh. You duh, goof. Man. You big goof. Oh, yeah, I was looking you at the... You uh, You did it again. I was looking at the uh, security cameras at work. Uh, the ones that we were looking at that were 50 bucks, they were indoor. So we couldn't use those outside. Oh, yeah, but also, because the, the, the ones I were looking at, they also had to be mounted outside. Right. Uh, I think that was the one thing you told us not to do. Yeah, it's like, you got like a clip on or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we'll, we'll have to look for a clip on them. Okay. Which I'll probably Google that afterwards. See what we can find. Sounds odd. I guess in the meantime, hey Google, what's the animal of the day? I'm so glad you're back. I can't wait to tell you about today's animal, the springbok. What? Springboks are medium-sized antelopes. They're white or brown and have two curled horns and a stripe on their side. They live on savannas in Africa. Springboks are known for jumping in the air, which is called pronking. Here's what they sound like. Do you want to know a cool fact about springboks? Yes. All right, springboks are about 2.3 to 3 feet tall. That means they're about as tall as a kitchen countertop. Do you want another fun fact? Yes. A springbok can leap as high as the ceiling of an average house. 
Ready for today's creative challenge? Yes. Pretend you're a Springbok scientist. Research Springboks and create an animal guide for Springbok lovers around the world. Try me again tomorrow for the next animal of the day. I'm excited to chat more soon. So you mean to tell me, like, that's our kitchen counter. So you mean to tell me an Arbok is that tall? And they can jump up that tall? That's horrifying. <coughs> like, I wonder if it's with two legs or with four legs? Can it jump that high with two legs? Do you call it Sparbok or Arbok? Arbok. Right. I think like a Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Later we're gonna hop on to Mikey Avenue. And then we will squeeze some tits. It's like, it's like the great Will I Am said, don't want to squeeze triggers, just want to squeeze tits. It's true. <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, you told me to send questions tonight instead of Tuesday, so here we go. Hopefully, I don't disappoint you all again, even though I always do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. At least you tried today. True. We appreciate, yeah. the, appreciate the schedule change. Yeah, we appreciate you working with us on this one. Because, uh, you got a house there. That's what I forgot for a second. Unfortunately. Yeah, I feel that spiritually. <laughs> uh, question one. What is the best way to tell another guy that their fly is out? I would just say something like, hey man, glizzy hole is exposed. <laughs> Damn. I like that. Yeah, I like, I like hey man, glizzy hole is exposed. Hey man, glizzy hole exposed. Hey man, I can see your cuzzo. He is cuzzo. Hey man, I can see your dick. <laughs> we'll put, put that thing away. Put that thing uh, away before you poke an eye out. <laughs> uh, weirdly enough, uh, one of my one of my team leads, uh, she, my my fly my, my zipper was doing something really weird. It just would not stay up. And she messaged me. She was like, "Hey, I want to check your zipper." And I was just like, "I was like, don't worry. You you wouldn't you wouldn't have to worry about seeing anything." And I put the shrimp emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Shrimp, yeah. Chocolate thought it was funny too. So, it is funny. dick humor is funny. Tiny penis jokes are funny, especially when it's true. <laughs> Big dick jokes aren't that funny because everyone knows you just you just you just insecure about your small penis. Right, but at least when you when you treat about your small penis, you're like, oh shit. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he know he knows what he's dealing with. All right, four inches of pleasure. <laughs> You ever, you, ever, you ever try like a memory awaken in your brain? You're like, oh shit, that happened. All the time. Yeah. That's Being that's alive funny. is a sad nostalgia dream. God, it really is. Realizing how, how life was better when you were a kid. You'd have no responsibilities. All right. And all you had to do was just watch you know, take a beat up Randy Orton. In cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I go back to the good times, Dad? And then occasionally have to get bullied at school. Yeah. Well, that's why I started making fun of myself because I know what else could do. Yeah. No, okay. I never did that. My parents divorced. <laughs> we like to get real here on the March of Earth podcast. I am, I am an M slash Fallout boy face. Oh, that's just, let's try not to remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I also listen to the Weezer Red album a lot. And my Fallout boy face was weird. Yeah. Well, I was Fallout boy and M and M at the same time. My Fallout Boy phase was also the I'm cooler than everybody else phase. Oh. Like, yeah, yeah, listen to Fallout Boy. What do you guys listen to? <laughs> the Smashing Pumpkins? Fucking losers. <laughs> Fucking posers. Uh, did you also smoke cloves? Fucking <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Question two. What do you guys do to cheer yourselves up after a bad day? I'm going to guess either listen to Kid Cudi or watch WrestleMania re <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He, wow. he got us. Uh, <laughs> he fucking got us. Wow, Michael Anthony Witherspoon. Right. <laughs> uh, although he, he did admit that. What, what, what do you do? Go to the fucking tanning bed? Fuck you. He, he could go, go drink some bleach? Clean bleach? your teeth? For your teeth. white ass teeth? For your white ass teeth? We're trying to roast him, but it's not working. Yeah, because he's, too, he's too goddamn pretty. Yeah, he is. Yeah, Would you get your clothes at the toilet store? 
<laughs> fucking <laughs> nerd. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> It's from Anchor Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that that was that was like classic uh, yeah. sixth grade insult. It was uh, Brit. He said it to the other dude. Like, oh, are you guys ready to fire him? Where'd you get a grenade? <laughs> <laughs> Brit killed the man. You should probably go into hiding. <laughs> uh, classic. Uh, normally, I just think about what would Cuddy do about it. You know? Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. And sometimes I hop on GTA and just kill some people. Yeah. Like, this is this is because today sucked. This is for your troubles. Yeah. This is for my troubles. <laughs> yeah. Every day is a bad day when you work for Walmart. It's true. <laughs> every day is a bad day on God's earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't got so much skin, bro. Just. We probably just cut it off right then and there. Like, YouTube would ban us. Yeah, they would. They'd be like, oh, no, you can't rip off your fucking arm. Why not? I don't see that in the contract. <laughs> what like, contract? Oh, <laughs> you, guys are, you guys aren't popular enough for a contract. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> that moved, and I thought smoke was coming out of your mouth. I'm like, <laughs> I was looking down, and it moved, it like rippled, and like I thought smoke was coming out of your mouth. I wonder if I could put gifts in the background. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely curious. Bro, we better play around with that shit. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, man. <laughs> if I could just have videos in the background, that'd be cool. Oh. We'll have old podcasts in the... Bananas. <laughs> Bananas. Oh, man, that'd be funny as fuck. Uh, what was the question? What do you do bad to day. cheer yourself up on a Smoke bed? Smoke weed about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's a workaholic reference. Uh, uh, I just come home. Sometimes I beat off. That helps. Yeah. The release of serotonin. It's, that, a, it's not serotonin. It's, what's that other stuff? Uh, it's either. <laughs> Ejaculation station. Melatonin is the stuff yeah, we Yeah, I think so. To sleep, right? Yes. So I, th- I think the other word was right then. Serotonin. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, Dopamine. That's the other one. That, there you go. That when you when you when you pledging yourself. Uh, I usually come home, have a beer or an alcoholic beverage. Yep. I, back in the day, bro, I used to grab a forty. If I was like, oh man, today suck. I'm grabbing a forty. Uh, the other day, I didn't even want a beer. I just came home, made a Scotch and Mountain Dew, and just kicked it back. One one sip, bro. Just just one little, whoa. just one whole chug, and uh, felt pretty good after that. Uh, felt real good after that. And then one day I just came and had a beer, and I was like, yeah. yeah. At what time? Uh, like 7 a.m. Yeah, well, it's they say 8 a.m., but for like normal people, it would just be after work. But it might just happen to be in the morning. What arm did you get the shot in? Uh, this one. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the first thing she asked me. He's like, left arm okay? I was like, that's what I wanted. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he didn't ask me. I just, I just, uh, just. Took the sleeve up on this one. I went. I went sleeveless when I went. So. Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't go to work sleeveless. Fair enough. <laughs> Makes sense. Although, although one of my coworkers just randomly did it. He just took his shirt off and he just had a tank top on under it. I'm just like, okay. Right. No one's had anything to do. Like, like at least you showed up in uniform. Uh, yeah, he showed up. After it's optional. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, it was also really hot in there. Yeah, that makes sense. Walmart sucks. And he's like, fuck it. No, I don't know, bro. If he starts walking around naked, I'm gonna join him. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing the Emperor's new clothes. It's not a. Uh, that's not a uh, Panic at the Disco reference. That's a literary reference that if you paid attention in school, you'd understand. Bingo, bango, bongo. Ha, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, question three. Trace. What video game have you guys played the most hours on? Also, speaking of which. What, what? Also, speaking of which, what? Why did you put a comma there? Uh, what game have you been playing lately, Kyle, on your DS? Uh, yeah. the one I was playing a little bit ago was uh, Legend of Zelda: The Phantom Hourglass. I had two months the one you're referencing. And like you thought about this question was like today, and then I'm not right now. I'm playing Majora's Mask. Again? And, huh? Again? Oh, yeah. 
about stories, but I was, I was like, we back, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's all the stories to know what game it was. Yeah, even though I only played like six months ago, but it's kind of became my favorite Zelda game. So I was like, fuck, I was going to play it again before I jump into the new one that I bought like a month ago. So I played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the first question? Because I, I had to answer that one, too. Uh, what do you got? The most hours yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've got about two or 300 hours in Fallout New Vegas. God. And then Fallout 4, I have about 500. Jesus. Because I was playing it a bunch back in like 2019. I... And then, uh... I was probably GTA. I feel like <laughs> I got about 200 hours in uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Mine's probably Grand Theft Auto 5. <clears throat> that's definitely, that's definitely, that's probably like number 5 for me. Yeah. GTA. I don't know how many hours, I don't know how to look that up. But, Same. But, uh... I, th- I think, I think with Microsoft you can do it on there. Okay. At, maybe. Or maybe yeah. on the Rockstar. Uh, yeah, true. Thing. What, what's it called? The Rockstar Network or whatever? Yeah. yeah, yeah I haven't yeah, been on there in a hot minute. Same. <laughs> and then I'll also probably say SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and 2007. Damn. How much How much, How much? much would you get? Because I know it's a lot. From childhood up until my adulthood? Yeah, sure, why not? Probably a good year's worth of hours. Damn. Yeah, because I mean. 525,600 minutes. Yeah, I just remember that from the song. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it, man. I tried to. I tried to actively avoid that musical. That makes sense. Every theater kid. I've never seen the musical. I just. I just for some reason know that song. Every was. theater kid that I went to high school with no. had a hard on for that yeah. one. And then we watched it one day, and I'm just like watching. It, I'm like, this isn't even that great, right? Yeah, <laughs> this kind of sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I always love West Side Story. It's my favorite one. I don't have a favorite musical. I guess I guess if I had to guess, like if, if I had to say one, I guess I'd probably say Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny. True, because it's technically, technically registered as a musical. True, musical slash rock opera. Yeah, <laughs> which I think still counts as a musical. Yeah, I mean, I guess I've never seen it, but it's Green Day, so how bad can it be? Right, American right. Idiot. Now, yeah. if, I, if, I, if I have to tell anyone an actual musical that's on Broadway, then I'll just say yeah, American Idiot. <laughs> Green Day presents American Idiot. Uh. Be yeah, from two, because uh, I, I played a lot of GM mode mm-hmm. in the past couple of years. <laughs> yeah, you have. And I know me and Kevin supposed to finish 2007. Damn. And they have to go in 2008. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and uh, I played I played a full year of GM mode in 2008 too. So. Damn. And I know when I was younger, I played. I had like eight years in universe mode. On Final vs. Raw 2011. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was eight years deep. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's like, fuck, you just keep playing all year long for yeah. eight years. Shit. Yeah, because I was just playing everything. I was pretty far in uh, 2K14 and 15. Yeah. I want to say 16 as well. But yeah, so I was pretty far into those. So, Beth put in, about, we bet put in them hours when the, if they do a GM mode this year. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, they better because I think they're trying to make people want to buy this game, right? Yeah, as opposed to the last one. <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping they bring back GM mode because two K twenty I played for maybe like a total. I'll say a grand total of three hours. Right. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. Two K nineteen, I almost had the story mode completed. Completed, and then my Xbox. Something happened where it glitched and it erased all of my memory from the game. Yeah. And, and if I wanted to re-download the downloadable content of Rey Mysterio with Ronda Rousey, I would have to purchase, it. Have to purchase it. I was like, bro, fuck this. Right. There's nothing they could do, so I just never played it again. Right. Uh, uh, ow. You're probably currently probably Madden because uh, I'm currently sitting at uh, 16 and 0, and I'm about to play the Cleveland Browns in the playoffs. Shit. In the, the, the divisional round, then I'm gonna go in the next round. My goal is to win a Super Bowl, and I've, and I've been undefeated since the preseason. So, I lost you, a single you, game. You, yet. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I lost a single game yet, and I'm excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go win that fucking Super Bowl. Do it for you, Tom. Do it for you. <laughs> it's sad the only time Cincinnati can win a Super Bowl is in is it <laughs> it's Madden. <a> Madden. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Question four. My throat's feeling really dry on the back. And it feels like there's something inside of it, but I, I don't want to reach far enough to find out. To you, you Question four. What's the dumbest thing you've gotten the most emotional about or cried? 
Uh, the dumbest thing? MF Doom. Oh, I dumb is my bad. Damn. Do it. <laughs> he, I thought I know it was dumb. I thought, I thought he said like the, the, like the, the most. Oh. Like, my bad. It's the dumbest thing you've gotten the most emotional about. Uh, I remember one time when I was a kid, my sister got me one of those like fluorescent uh, lights. Mm-hmm. Like, like the big, thing, the neon light things. It was like a... Uh, Night bright? No, no. It was like actually one of those neon light things that you see in like windows. The open and close signs. Oh, okay. It was one of those. But it was like, it was like a palm tree and a coconuts on it. It was really fucking cool. And I thought the cord was long enough. And whenever I pulled the cord, it shattered. And I was so fucking sad and I cried about it. And she tried to make fun of me and my mom yelled at her for it. She was, she was like, he's, he's sad because you got it for him. And I was really sad because it broke. Damn, what a jerk. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, damn, damn skis. Damn, I'm sorry, man. That thing is not cool. Yeah, and then my parents never replaced it. They didn't care enough. They're like, fuck. Damn. I'm not replacing it. I didn't buy it. <laughs> damn. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, there's probably a lot more, but that was the first one that came to my mind. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I cried a lot of things, so it's hard to pick the dumbest. Yeah. <laughs> uh,. I almost cried while watching watch uh, Meet the Robinsons. Yeah, yeah. Just the ending was very uh, wholesome. I didn't expect that. All right. First time I've ever seen it, so I didn't know. That was good. Well, the bro's fucking wholesome. All right, I love that movie, bro. <laughs> I guess it's movies in general, because, like, you know. I, I know a lot of people say, like, uh, there's, like, a certain thing where it's, like, uh, what is it? Like, if you cry in movies, you're, like, like I don't know. Like, more, I guess more in touch with your emotions or something. I don't know. There's, yeah, there's well, some sort of I cry a lot of movies. Yeah, hey, you know? Like you have a, I think it's like you have a better, you have a better like understanding of other people's sim, like struggles and shit. Yeah. yeah. Even though they're fake people, but you're still crying at it. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> uh. That's not good. What? It says concentrated from Turkey slash China. Interesting. <laughs> Is Turkey even like located near China? Turkey's in the Middle East, bro. Bro, then how, how are they concentrated in both? Alright. <laughs> Very confused. I am confusion. America explained. <laughs> uh, uh, probably, uh, I've probably cried to music before, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. M- music just touches you, man. Runaway. Oh, yeah. Cry to that all the time. Bro, that's a beautiful song, man. <laughs> uh... I really can't thank you any of thing. I've cried to wrestling before. True. We know that. <laughs> yeah, I cried to cool and Kofi Kings and was so emotional. Couldn't handle it. The edge. Yeah. Yeah, when he came back, I cried. <laughs> uh, you love to see it. You really do. <laughs> uh, question five. Who are some actors who just can't legit legit act uh Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> I don't know he's the first thing that came to my head for some reason there's a reason I was thinking of Owen Wilson <laughs> yeah, wow. his brother he's not really that he's not that good either no he's not he's just, he just kind of shows up he just kind of shows up and says some lines and goes home Dak Shepard yeah, I agree with that one completely. Like he, he, like he, he's funny in some of the roles he does. Just because, like, you can tell, like he's not trying that hard. That's what makes it funny. Yeah, like Dak Shepard. I was thinking about it uh, earlier today. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure his my favorite role of his is uh, Employee of the Month. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking love that movie. Uh, I was also thinking about Dane Cook. Dane Cook. Yeah, I just think that one too. Yeah. Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah. Jeff Dunham. You know who the best actor is? Fucking, uh... Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. Tommy was up. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Well, hi, Mark. Oh, <laughs> uh, Luis Guzman. That's what I was thinking of. He's yeah, like, he's pretty good. Because, right? like, you think he wouldn't be able to act, but he's pretty fucking... He's, pretty bro, fucking he's, a, he's good. in fucking everything, bro. Yeah, bro. He, he plays in, like, with the most random shit, bro. Right? He's in fucking, uh, The Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> yeah. Shit, dude. I'm pretty sure he's in a movie with Denzel Washington, too. Yeah. I don't remember which one it is, but... Because I think we watched the Mama Nelson one time. 
Well, they're trying to find that the uh, the bone collector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, was, he was in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. He's just randomly in that. Yeah, <laughs> like he just shows up. He just randomly shows up in everything. Because like when he shows when he shows up in like a serious movie, you're like, wait, no, what? <laughs> no, I was just trying to. Say, I, was looking, I was looking to see if I was to record. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Actually, who legit can't act? Taylor, Taylor uh, Lautner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I was gonna say Sam, but I remember it on Cut Gems. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, he definitely can. He just chooses when, when, and when. Yeah. Not. Do what David Spade. Yeah, he's not that good of an actor. <laughs> no, he's not. He do his uh, Dick Swordson. Yeah, he's not. Uh, fucking uh, Rob Schneider. Mm-hmm. Fucking Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider, if you listen to this, fuck you. <laughs> but they should make it a hot dollar. Yeah, right. <laughs> Chris Rock's not a very good actor. No. Uh, we'll see what happens in the <laughs> in that new Saw movie. Yeah. I've heard I've heard it's pretty shit. I've never really seen him in a serious role. I think I, I saw it on Instagram today. IGN gave like a really bad review. I've never <laughs> seen him in a non comedic role though, so it's gonna be Same. very interesting to see. <laughs> uh, Ben Affleck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I definitely think he's a good actor. I know. I, I, I'd like to have Ben Affleck. Right. It's funny. You white? Then you Ben Affleck. Uh, Sean William Scott's not that good of an actor. But he's funny in the roles he plays in. Who? Sean William Scott. Oh, I thought like, Sean Astin. Yeah, like, well, Sean William Scott, he's good in the roles he's, he's, he plays in, but he's not that good of an actor. Agreed. Because yeah. he plays the same character every movie. So where's this at? Hold on. In the movies that he does that are comedy, usually are pretty terrible. Dwayne Johnson's another one. I love The Rock, but he's not that good of an actor. Agreed. Uh, because he pretty much is, just agrees to everything that like, passes his door. Like, I guarantee if someone was to like, you should go on the Macho Burger podcast, and I guarantee he would, not even knowing what the fuck it is. Oh, yeah. Fucking IGN gave it a three. <laughs> Jesus. Spiral from the Book of Saw is likely to alienate both Saw fans and mainstream audience. It's a hollow I- imitation of the series and just a bad film in general, failing to tell a socially relevant story that that it can't seem to handle. And that's out of ten. <laughs> Yikes. <Yeah. laughs> Yikes. Speaking of ratings, you, <coughs> you, <coughs> you see Fantano's album review on J. Cole? No, I haven't watched it yet. I saw it on there, but I haven't clicked it yet. Do you want to know what it gave it? Yeah. You gave it a light seven. Oh, no, it's not bad. Yeah. That's about what I give it. Like, yeah. uh, it's definitely different, but yeah. a couple more listens, and I'm yeah. sure I'll be like, oh, that's great. But like, yeah, there was one song on there that he just absolutely hated. I don't remember what song it was, but he just absolutely fucking hated it. <laughs> that's funny. There was this one song. I can't remember what, he, what, name, what name of it, but it was like when they had like the auto-tuned chorus. He just fucking absolutely hated it. <laughs> yeah, because the album was definitely different, but I, I respect it, and I liked yeah. it, but... A couple more, I gotta give it a couple more listens yeah. before I really truly also wasn't a fan of the uh, <clears throat> uh, 100 millions whatever but I like that actually I like that one actually. yeah <laughs> Fantano wasn't a big fan of that song either I mean, he didn't hate it but he wasn't a fan right of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta watch the Van Weezer one too yeah <laughs> I can't remember what he rated that one probably probably something in the middle that's easier yeah. where he puts Weezer yeah well I don't, I don't know he, he, he gave uh, he gave a uh, Okay, he went really cool. Yeah, he's like nine, I think. He gave like an eight or a nine, yeah. I think it was like a, a light, light, strong nine. Yeah. A light, eight, strong nine. Yeah, and I know uh, <clears throat> ARTV didn't care for it, but that's because, you know. Yeah, I, I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't care for ARTV. I'm sorry. I, I, I like the guy, yeah. but I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't like his opinions. Same. Like, I, I, don't, just, I, don't, I don't like how, how, much of a, how much he sucks to the album stick sometimes. Yeah. He's freaking out. I'm like, bro, it's just an album called. I get yeah. it, but like yeah. not every album is a banger. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Like that's why I trust Fantano a lot more when it comes to albums yeah. than I do ARTV. Agreed. Because if, if it's a rock band that he has a poster of, he's gonna nut his pants. Yeah. I mean, he, he he lives in the Charlotte area, I think, so we yeah. could probably easily get him on the show. I've never, I've never tried. You know, we do shit talking. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice to have him on. But, hey man, why are you? Why do your opinions suck sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> and why do you hate Soul to Squeeze so much? By the right, I'm still mad about that. Why do you that? hate it so much? I was like, what is, what's wrong, man? Yeah. Such a good song, bro. <laughs> uh, I was going to say Flea, but I realized he, he's actually really good. Actor. Yeah, he actually, he, he's a good musician and a good actor. Is he playing that uh, Queen, Queen and Slim? Slim and he yeah. was really good. He was really good. <laughs> he also plays in uh, Baby Driver. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He also plays Big Lebowski. It is. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Holy shit, I haven't seen yeah. that movie in years. Yeah. He's also in a couple other movies just randomly there. All right. Told me to get Michael Myers, man. It's just his Mike Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the killer dummy. <laughs> <laughs> He's also in uh, Inside Out. He does a uh, voice for one of the characters in Inside Out. Yeah, he does. I don't remember which character, but I think it's later on in the film. I've never yeah. seen the whole film in the entirety. I watched it on a snow day in like 2018. <laughs> I heard it's really depressing. Yeah, it is. It's sad as shit. I've also heard Soul. I've also heard Soul's really depressing. Same. I don't really want to watch it, though. Same. <laughs> and of course, I've, I've always heard Coco's really good, but I've just never watched it. Yeah, I've never had the want to watch it. Yeah. But like, even though everyone says it's really good, I'm like, I'm still probably not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. I've, I've, I've heard mixed reviews on Good Dinosaur, but the song that was in the trailer for it was uh, was, was a really good song. Yeah, it was. It's like Crystals by Of Mice and Men. It's the only yeah. song I know about that band. Yeah, yeah. But it, that song was really fucking good. Of, of, of who? Mice and Men. Oh, yeah. It's the only song I know There's about. There's a couple that of them I like. I, I like. I like a lot of their older stuff, though. Well, their like, stuff's not that great. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That, that tends to be like the, the thing with newer bands. Yeah. Like their their old their older stuff is better than oh. newer stuff. Isn't like I follow boy. They, they, they came out like their they came out when we were still in high school, and that's that's when the music was really good. Okay. To me anyway. Is there another song that I would probably know by them? Uh, little talks. I probably heard that one. Don't listen to a word I say. Oh, hey. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that was them. Yeah, that's, that's my least favorite one on that album actually. Yeah. They have one called. Uh, I probably hated that one in high school, but I probably wouldn't mind it now. I think it's either Little Mountain Man or just called Mountain Man, but it's really fucking good. I like that one. So I, 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 the, the dude that sings sometimes, yeah. he's a really big fucking dude, but like he has a really like high voice, but it sounds really fucking good. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Justin Timberlake as an actor? It depends. He 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 he's had hits and misses. Yeah. There's that one movie I still want to watch. It's on uh, Apple TV, where like, he's an ex-con who like starts taking care of this. Uh, Little uh, boy who's like gender oh, queer, yeah. I think. Oh yeah, and, like, yeah. It looks it looks really fucking good, but I haven't watched it yet. It, it looks like it'd be like a ten out of ten. But yeah, I don't have I don't have Apple TV, so and, that's why I haven't tra- attempted to watch it. And then you look at uh, In Time or whatever. Yeah, In Time was actually kind of like great. it's a good movie, but I don't think he acts that great in it. No. <laughs> uh, he's also in Love Guru. That movie was fucking terrible. Yeah, it's just not, that whole movie. It's not even just his fault. It's just Daniel Tosh is in that movie. Yeah, he, he plays a cowboy. It's just that movie in general <laughs> sucks. <laughs> yeah, it almost, it damn near almost killed Mike Myers' career. It really did. Yeah, yeah. It, for the most part, he didn't act again for like ten years. No, he didn't. Like, he didn't do anything until I think Bohemian Rhapsody. He, he, he was he was a very he was a very famous uh, Halloween character for a while though. Yeah, I love Guru. Yeah, he also he, he played the Glorious Bastards. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he did, didn't he? He, he played. He played. I think he played a manager in uh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Weirdly enough. Interesting. Yeah, he, 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 they they put a fat suit on him though, because <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to make it look a little different. Right. But yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, it was a really good role for my actor. Mm-hmm. Like I, I could, I could go either way on huh. Paul Giamatti in. Uh, uh, well, uh, trade out of Compton. Yeah, he did really good. Yeah, he, he, he did. <laughs> he really did. I was like, shit, bro. This, this is the best Paul Giamatti has been in years. Yeah, because like I, I used to be like hit or miss on him, but for the most part, he, he, he was he, in a lot of movies that year. Yeah. he also was in San Andreas. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that movie was not that great. No, <laughs> I movie. watched it on the Joe Rogan Fire Stick with mom and dad. And it was, mm. Now, whenever you see a brand new Dwayne Johnson movie, do you go in there with expectations? Never. Okay. Never. Insane. Mom and dad saw Skyscraper, and then they were like, oh, it was really good. I'm like, I doubt it. <laughs> it so, looks bad. I, I grew up as a fan of The Rock. Right. I lived in a family with my mom. <clears throat> she loved The Rock, and she loved Stone Cold. So... <laughs> so watching grow up, growing up and watching him become an actor... And knowing that most of his roles are, are bad is yeah. kind of... <coughs> <coughs> I'm not going to really draw on that sentence. <laughs> it sucks to see. But, uh... God, that actually hurt. Maybe he didn't say yes to every, act, every <coughs> random action movie that came his way. <laughs> God, he's every th- fucking thing. I'm ready for Black Adam, though. <laughs> yeah, like, I guarantee if like someone just threw our name out there to him, people like, oh, yeah, sign me up, I'll do it, whatever. Right. And then we'll just get a we'll get an email one day from YouTube. Like, yeah, The Rock wants to do your show. And I'm like, wait, what? What? <laughs> like, yeah, someone mentioned it to him. He's gonna do it. Okay. <clears throat> How much do we owe him? Uh, he saved his podcast for nothing. I'm like, oh, okay. 
Okay, it's but weird, but it'd be cool. weird if he was our first guest. <laughs> that would be. It would probably be that hard to book him, I don't think. Right. We'll, ask, we'll, ask, we'll see what his asking price is. I still, I still gotta buy the Devil Warkaiser. Eh. <laughs> Some of the Ned Bigby experience. <coughs> Question six. We were stuck on that one for a while. Yeah, we were. It was good. It was good. Uh, what's up with the dirt pile near Papa Nell's house and caught over it? LOL, love you guys. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but he called me the day complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Because we didn't notice until we went and got the grill. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was he complaining about, though? Like, they they make a noise? Yeah, day, actually. He called me earlier that Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. He was like, you can pick up the grill, right? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right, well, there's a big fucking dirt pile back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got that. I was like, hey, he's kidding. And then, like, two days later, he called. and said, yeah, they're moving shit around it. <laughs> Pretty bad. Oh, he called me to tell him that he was getting, they came to pick up the truck and he's getting money for it. Oh, yeah, nice. He's going to buy another one. Sweet. So, nice. So hopefully it's better than what he had. This wasn't his fault now. Now they can yeah. get that straightened out. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think they finally talked to the uh, the cop that was with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, yeah, no, it's clearly the Asians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it, it was their fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Because, I mean, because he said he pulled out this way, and he was like, well, how did he pull out this way if yeah, I hit him this way? Exactly. <laughs> and he's like, no, oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Talked, he finally talked about, about the car. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Hopefully that lady would pick it up so I can put the money. Yeah. <laughs> Did he tell you how much you were selling it for? Yeah, 500. Hey, he's, he's gonna take out what he what he had for the car or the seat and the light. Oh, was he got yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a lot more than I expect you to get out of that car. Same, bro. <laughs> that, that's what I was gonna ask for originally. <laughs> like, I, I was gonna ask for, I was gonna ask like a thousand and then just like negotiate from there. Yeah. <laughs> but but five, five, five hundred was up in the, the target, so I was like, hell yeah. And then he's just gonna take what he did for the seat and the light. I'll like, yeah, oh, take yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, oh, wow. I, I I couldn't see getting anything more. Yeah, same. <laughs> Especially with no what's wrong with that car. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, that's why the next. But I guess he got he got it to work. So I mean, shit. Mm-hmm. That's why the we only have like less than twenty minutes. So that's good. Sure. Yeah, hey, thanks, Mikey. Yeah, thanks, Mikey. The, the acting question really got us going. Yeah, it did. You know who deserves a fucking award of some type and also maybe a new back surgery? Uh. Jerry Trainer. Which I thought you were going to say. <laughs> I'm excited for next month, bro. We got our Carly back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a little promo. Yeah, 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 that's fucking funny, bro. He's like, he's like, you know the best part about doing it for adults now? He's like, you, you can, can curse? curse? We're going to cut that out, right? <laughs> 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 I, I just like that uh, that uh, Miranda Cosgrove's woman said that. We can curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you probably can now. It's all Paramount yeah. Plus. The set looks really cool now. Yeah. I like that a lot. Looks yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, because Spencer's definitely like that character that now. The weird shit that's happened. Right. On that show, you would say, you could definitely tell you what to say. What the fuck? Right. Like he, when, he walks, when he walks in a car and that dude making out, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bagels? Fucking bagels? I didn't even goddamn want. <laughs> <laughs> if they can hear us over that wall, they're like, man, they're, he's really upset about bagels. <laughs> bagels? Bagels! <laughs> That's what you said that one. It's all. Uh, apparently, uh, she'll, she'll see uh, the neighbor out there shirtless sometimes. Interesting. It's like, interesting. Wow. Even, even, I'm never, even, even I'm never brave to go out there shirtless. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I did this morning because I was like finding a shirt. I have a night. To show her the lock on the grill. Yeah. You have a night to pee. That's it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to beat the man. The man, yeah. the myth, the legend. That is Roger. Roger the alien. <laughs> I mean, what if it really is just Roger? Just go. <laughs> hey y'all. Bro, you know what's weird? He's never seen us carrying groceries. I've never seen him carrying groceries. I've also never seen him outside except for like once. All right. You think you have neighbors? <laughs> Where <are> the groceries? <laughs> uh-huh. I, love the, I love the argument. Though. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. like you think this isn't a simulation? What's a side trick you love to use? <laughs> the one we just talked about. Yep. Mm-hmm. You ever seen your neighbors carrying groceries? Uh, uh brain hurdy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, this one, this one's more directed towards you than me. Uh, what is your favorite uh, future Futurama quote? Shit. You watch it more than I do. Uh. Oh, uh, here's a better one. 
to celebrate Shrek's 20th anniversary today, what is your favorite Shrek quote? First off, I just want to say a uh, quick shout out to Shrek for making it to 20 years old. Hey Google, clap your hands. MF dope. <laughs> MF dope. Uh, <laughs> Good old Shrek. Good uh, What's your favorite Shrek quote? Uh, <laughs> don't care. Maybe onions have layers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, oh, merry men. <laughs> oh, merry men. <laughs> I like when he's fighting. Yeah. Man, what was it? It's a reference to a movie. What'd you, what'd you fucking say? He's like, uh. Are you not entertained? I think I might be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is such a good movie. What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, that one from, uh. From Far <laughs> What was this? He's talking about a shirt. Well, he, she, he, he's falling for the ogre. Everybody laugh. Point yeah. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> The oaf is the oaf is falling for the <laughs> pick number three, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, anything Pinocchio says is fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> Do not wear ladies' underwear. Whoop, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not the gumdrop button! <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking classic. Yeah, it is. Twas Donkey who fucked the dragon. It was I who fucked the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're talking a lot about comedians today. Uh, one question is who's your favorite comedian? Uh, probably Donald Glover. Honestly, yeah. Him or maybe, uh,. Uh, Anthony Jezelvick is really funny. Yeah. He's also really dark. Yeah. He's also yeah. really funny. Also dark kind of douchey, but like that's his whole yeah. character. He's yeah. really not like that. Like, one of my favorite jokes by him was he was talking about some murder case that happened before. It might have been Casey Anthony. I think. And then someone came up to him after the show and he was like, hey, man, that was, that, that, that that's my niece. That's not funny. And he was, he was like, no, sir. That was your niece. <laughs> 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 I was like, good lord, the balls on this man. Holy god. <laughs> Damn. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> no, that was. That was. And then the next question under it was, uh, which comedian that other people seem to love do you find utterly unfunny? I was, I was My answer for that was Jeff Dunham. Yep. Puppetry is not funny. <laughs> they were when I was like younger. Before I developed a dark sense of humor. Yeah. And yeah. you're just like, bro, this isn't funny. Yeah. Dude. Same with Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah, he's funny when you're like pre pubescent. <laughs> yeah, whatever you all you know is like fat jokes and like before you barely know what cur- curse words are. Yeah. You're like, oh man, Gabriel Iglesias. Uh, well, like, once you become an adult, you're like, god damn, he's really not that funny. He's really not. He's just kind of. Yeah, once you see better and more edgier comedians, you're like. Like Anthony Justin. Like, yeah, or, yeah. Dan- or even Daniel Tosh. Yeah. Some of this shit's kind of dark, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, Don Glover is fucking beautiful all, all around. Uh, Dan Cook is one another one who I did, I've never found funny at Same. all. I also never understood what, every time he was on stage, he would have a circle. Yeah. And it's like the crowd would be around it. I never right. understood that. Like, well, bro, why? Yeah. You walk around the circle like, oh, you guys, look at me. Yeah, that one, that one special. Like, What's okay. Yeah, bro, like, he's like if Nickelback became a comedian. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not true. People actually join Nickelback. <laughs> oh, that fucking dog. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe if, uh, if Creed became a comedian. Here, 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 here. That's one of the comedians that I know how fucking just can't. Ed Elms. Louis C.K. Uh, there's there's been a couple of jokes from Louis C.K. I like, but as a whole, I wouldn't say he's great. I agree, I just hate him in general. <laughs> yeah, like whenever he was on Saturday Night Live, the last time he was on Saturday Night Live, his monologue was actually pretty funny. Yeah, it was. But then uh, he that got thing. canceled after that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with Sarah Silverman. Yeah, his his monologue was very very dark. I yeah. thought it was funny, but yeah, I mean he was good in uh, 
Parks and Rec. Yeah, that, that's the only that's because I hated him, and then the, yeah. I was like, oh man, it's him. And I was like, no, his character was actually pretty good. Yeah, and I can't I can't be mad at yeah. this one time. I can't be mad at. Yeah, him. I know his <laughs> uh, show Louie. Uh, that was very like a dark but also wholesome show. Agreed. Back yeah, back in the day, it was funny. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't put him on like top like yeah, comedians though. The Jim Gaffigan I've never really found that funny. Yeah, same. I'm not a big fan. Sarah Silverman I'm kind of like eh with. Like I, she can be funny. I like her more honestly like, for her acting and voice work more than yeah. her, her yeah. comedy. Because I always forget that she's in uh, School of Rock until I watch School of Rock. Right, yeah. And I always forget that's her. I'm like, wait, shit, yeah, it is her. <laughs> they was, I, think I, I think I was listening to that Cartoons at Curse podcast and they were talking about how she did a voice on an episode of either Futurama or... Uh, I think I never heard more of Futurama, and I was, like, I was like, "That was fucking Sarah Silverman." Yeah, she was on Bob and Burgers. Like she, she can really, she can really throw her voice really well. Because she's, she's Ollie and Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like her and her sister. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> and uh, she's also, she's also in um, Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, yeah. She's really good. It's though. weird that Disney casted John C. Riley right? <laughs> and Sarah Silverman. Honestly, it's really weird that I've, I've cried at both those movies. The one I haven't seen the second. One. <laughs> I watched it in theaters with mom. Because okay. I was working at the theater at the time, and I took her to see it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I cried at both of them. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, it's really sad, bro. Because yeah. the second one's more about, like, more about, like, them, like, kind of falling out. Like, their friendship. <coughs> it was really fucking sad. I was like, damn, I've, I've been there. <laughs> but I love Eric Andre, but I don't, I don't think his stand-up is as funny as... Agreed. You know, as, as, as just him being... Yeah. Exactly. Being himself. Himself is fucking hilarious, but, yeah, but when he writes down jokes, it doesn't yeah. translate well. Yeah, it doesn't work that well. Like he, 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 if he was to write for like a show or something, which, yeah. which he has before, it, it, it's funny, you know? Yeah. But like when he when he does jokes, like stand-up and stuff, it's not... Yeah, it doesn't like translate great. well. <laughs> the funniest part about his stand-up is that bit he did with the dude's phone. Yeah. <laughs> and text like his mom or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the funniest bit just cause he was just fucking around beating himself you know yeah uh Hannibal Burris is fucking hilarious yeah 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 it's but like, it's just the way he just brought it totally yeah. talks I was like that wasn't him man <laughs> yeah but like the, one of the jokes where he, where he finally split second he forgot that racism didn't exist yeah <laughs> he's getting that ball he's trying to buy some apple juice this man just kept staring at me and I'm just like damn man I'm like, you got a hell of a sale on this apple juice bro it's just right over there and then he was like, I realized that's not what he was mad at. He wasn't mad at a grown man buying apple juice. He was mad that a grown black man was dating a white woman. <laughs> I think that was on his stand up uh, animal furnace. Yeah, they're having a great show with apple juice. And then there's this one joke in the stand up that's fucking funny where like they rented a house for like a party or whatever, and then like they completely trashed it. <laughs> and they were like, "Yeah, that, that wasn't us." <laughs> yeah, he, he just like left the very next day. He was like, "Oh, let's get out of here." Adam Devine, his stand up isn't that great. Yeah, no, it's not. I like this. Sh- I like his show because the comedians he got on his guests were funny. Yeah, but other than that, you know, yeah, it wasn't good. and like it, it was the, the show itself was funny because Kyle Newichek directed it. Yeah, because like and he, he's he's a really good director. Yeah, <laughs> but the other two I couldn't see trying to attempt stand up. Uh, Anders and Blake. Blake. I, I couldn't really see them trying to attempt it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Blake's more funny in like just the roles he does. Yeah, like, I want to I want to say Joel McHale may have done stand up before. I think so, yeah. David Spade has done stand up. Yeah. It wasn't that great. No, it wouldn't. Uh, I, I would add Carrot Top to that list, but I've never heard anyone say that they actually enjoy Carrot Yeah, Top. same. He's one of those ones that, like, he's got some funny bits here and there, but yeah. I've never heard anyone be like, oh, bro, Carrot Top, funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, the shit that he did with uh, Tosh. Tosh went on one of the earlier seasons. That was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. He was like on a random episode. I think he was on a couple of them. He would just pop up like a joke or two. Yeah, he just, I remember that one, that one. He was he just fucking covered himself in gasoline. Yeah. He's like, oh, that's Care Top. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I actually watched... It was either Nikki Swift that did the video or Looper. It was one of those two. Maybe Grunge. One of those three that did a video on Care Top not too long ago. And he, apparently, he just worked at a... The uh, the big casino and uh, the big casino motel thing in uh, Vegas. That's what he's been doing. Do you know how little that narrows it down? No, the most famous one. You know, the Casino Royal, whatever. I don't know. I don't fucking go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wild. I'm not that white. Caesar's Palace. The, I think it's that one. The Pyramid one. Yeah. MGM. That one. The pyramid MGM one. Ballroom. Yeah, yeah. MGM. 
Yeah. yeah. yeah the works green one. The big he, green one. Yeah, he works in that one. He works in one of the smaller theaters they have in there. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. He's had like a permanent. Yeah, you know, whenever the other one's sold out, they all go watch Carrot Top. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll go see Carrot Top. Why not? Yeah. He's here in yeah, Vegas. They, they, pay him, they pay him some good fucking money. Shit. But it's also like one of those things he can't accept other dates because right. he's always there. Yeah. yeah. It's probably good for us. To my favorite, favorite Joe Son family guy. With, with when they're doing the uh, Bolter guys parody, yeah, <laughs> this is my seesaw. It's <laughs> fucking Peter Griffin just fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> you are fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, you keep it. You, you keep that skull. He's like, no, I'm, I'm I need that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking funny. <laughs> it's one of my favorite jokes. He fucking dies. I'm pretty sure you got carried time to play that. Yeah, he did. did. <laughs> What is it? What is that? Oh, it's my seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, I wonder... How, I'm going to Google that, because now I'm curious. What? If Joel McHale's done stand-up. I want to say he did. Joel McHale stand-up. Ooh, what's it do? Oh, uh, yeah. He, yeah, it was from Believe It or Not last year. <laughs> oh, this was new. I thought it was like a, I thought he did like old stand up. No, it's from last year. Interesting. Shit. Live from I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. <laughs> uh interesting. He has a website. Have we used Joel? Yeah, we have used Joel McKill before. Yeah, we have. Damn it. We use Carrot Top, fuck it, why not? Bro God, why is he so goddamn pretty? All the time. Editor, can you just, for the, re- for the rest of the episode, can you just throw up a picture of Joel McHale to let everyone know how pretty he is? Right. <laughs> like, god damn, he is a pretty man. Uh, I'll have a trailer for it, so I guess we'll watch that afterwards. <laughs> Interesting. Live from Pong Gang. If I pronounce that, I probably didn't pronounce that right. Yeah, who knows how they pronounce anything? <laughs> yeah. Bro, how do we contact Joel McHale? Oh. For press inquiries, contact Carly Morgan. Oh, okay. Sweet. Interesting. Uh, he's a book out. <laughs> I'm not going to buy that, so don't worry about that. What book? It's called Joel McHale. Thanks for the money. It's a book I have. It's signed. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you buy it from his website? No, I bought it off uh, at uh, Barnes Noble. Interesting. Back in like 2018. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's been out that long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you read it? Some of it. <laughs> the first couple chapters I did. And I, then I remember I don't read. <laughs> one yeah. day, one day I'll finish it. I, I just mostly bought it because it was signed. I was like, oh, there was like a little thing that said signed copies. And I was like, bro, what? I have Joe McCall's autograph. I wonder if they have any more of them. <laughs> they probably, do they have a section for signed copies? Probably not, but I mean, they probably have the book. It might, might still be signed. Yeah. <laughs> they might have moved to a different section. We'll, we'll, we'll look, we'll, we'll look. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> God, he is so, he's such a good looking man. He really is, man. <laughs> you know who's a good looking man? MF Dome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for the I guess, I guess for the rest of it, for for most episodes, I guess it was in that Doom up there, and then I guess the rest of it was for f- Joe McHale since we were the last five minutes of it. Uh, Shit, who do we use for this week's podcast? I guess MF Doom. <laughs> MF Doom. We haven't used them yet. MF Dooms. Oh, we could do MF Doom. We could do uh, uh, Victor Vaughn since that's his alias. True. 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 Vince Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe next week. Oh, God. How is Reddit a secure website, but Joel McHale's official web- JoelMcHale.com is not a secure website? It is weird. Probably his name after somebody. What the fuck are you doing over there, Joel McHale? I guess so, sometimes websites like that could just be anybody's random domain they bought for 20 bucks on GoDaddy. Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, well, it's about 104. You want to... Wrap it on down, or you want to continue going? Gotta wrap it up. Because if you don't wrap it up, you're gonna get eight. I don't have used a condom in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you've been fucking the same bitch for over a year now, so. Yeah, but before that, I don't remember the last time I used it. Yeah, that. I know. <laughs> uh, it, it's been 2018. Last time I used it. 
I expected it to be longer, actually. <laughs> I think it's like 2016. <laughs> well, 2018, I was, there was a lot in there. Yeah. So I kind of had to. Yeah. Yeah, you did a, you did a couple of that year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and next week, we'll find out if I have age or not. <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't think I do. Huh? Are you kids are you? They tried me. <laughs> I'd figure out a norm or something if I, if I did. Somewhere in my body, like, bro, something's wrong. You got, you got something down there. I'm surprised my dad doesn't have anything. Yeah, that makes sense. That you know of. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would never share a bed with him, so I don't really have to worry about it. <laughs> that motherfucker's not joking.